Malawi has declared a state of disaster in 23 out of the country's 28 districts. President Lazarus announced that 2 million farming households have been affected by the El Nino induced dry spells and need food. This is not a good one. Let's listen to this. It has declared a state of disaster in 23 out of the country's 28 districts. President Lazarus Chakwera announced on Saturday that 2 million farming households have been affected by the El Nino induced dry spells and need food. In Neno, southern Malawi, many line up to receive aid. I have a big farmland measuring more than one acre and a half. Together with the children I stay with, we farm on this land. With good rains, I harvest 20 to 50 kilogram bags of maize. This year, to be honest, I have harvested nothing. We planted in November and the maize germinated because we had rains. In December, we had fewer rains. There was too much sun that scorched the whole field and crops. The presidential announcement coincided with a food distribution exercise by the WFP and the Department of Disaster Management Affairs. This official anticipates more humanitarian assistance. The food that we have seen we are distributing today is for the season that we are in. But there is an additional type of hunger that we are facing because of the uh, dry spell that, that we have experienced. For Neno, it has been hit hard. So, the president's declaration means other people are going to come in now, lifting up the hand of government, where it wasn't necessarily able uh, to, to do it. People are going to come because of that declaration. The presidential initiative to stop hunger calls out to Malawians and the international community. Around 600,000 metric tons of food aid are needed. Neighboring Zambia declared a national disaster of a drought in late February. This call out is to international community and locals to help support them with food as they are in deep need of food. They have been hit by extreme weather and I hope they find help. Thank you very much again for your time. I don't take it for granted. Hope to see you in my next as I bring your way again more trending news. Bye.